Hey y'all, just sharing five storytelling tips for small business owners. Ready to do it? Let's go. Hey y'all, listen, Robert Kennedy the third year RK. That's me. If you're brand new to the channel, guess what? That's who I am. That's my name. If you're not brand new to the channel, yeah, that's still my name. That's who I am. I am actually doing something a little bit different. I'm recording this video without edits. I'm just going to go into it and do it kind of like a live stream, but not exactly a live stream. And yeah, let's chat. Let's chat. Anyway, I wanted to share with you quickly today five storytelling tips for small business owners. Now, why is that important? Well, number one, small business owners, you kind of got to make money, right? And I believe that the best way for you to make money is for you to be able to share stories. In order for you to be able to share stories, you've got to have a story. You've got to be able to find your story and be able to use some storytelling structure in order to share and really connect with and, and, and influence people. So I'm going to share with you five tips. Now, the first tip is this. Connect with people before introducing a product. Connect with people before introducing a product. A lot of times we like to come to the front door and slam a product in someone's face. We like to give them the data. We like to give them the, 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 the benefits and all the stuff that this product is going to do before we even connect with them and find out why they this, this would be a good product for them. For example, I was at my house so quite a few years ago and there was a knock at the door and I opened the door there was this guy he was standing outside and he had quite a few swatches of carpet and he was saying hey you can we're, we're here we're selling carpet we, we've got Berber we've got this other type and he went through like five or six different types and we spent about five minutes I was quiet I let him speak and share all of the different types of carpet that he was he was trying to sh sell me and when he finished I then opened my door and I showed him my house, which was entirely hardwood <laughs> at the time. So uh, he could have saved himself all that time by simply asking me the question or finding a way to connect with me so that I could be connected to the product that he was talking about. So number one, number one tip, connect with your customer, connect with your audience, know a little bit about them, learn a little bit about them before you immediately dive into the product. Tip number two. Be authentic, okay? Be authentic. It's okay to read a script, but you have to be able to uh, you have to be able to connect with your audience and the best way to do that is to be real. So even if you're reading a script, you've got to take a moment to pause and breathe and laugh and have fun and not just kind of plow through everything like a robot because you're not a robot. You're not. Well, at least not. I'm not. Most of us are not robots. <laughs> Some of us have robotic tendencies. Maybe that's what it is. All right. So tip number two, uh, be authentic, be relatable. Tip number three, identify a core value or behavior that you want to share, that you want your audience to, to understand. So what is it that, that you stand for? What is it that you believe? As a matter of fact, the other day I was asked by somebody what I did for a living. And rather than saying, hey, this is what I do, I started out by saying, well, here's what I believe. And I shared with them a core belief that I had, which then led into a story, which then led into everything else. All right. So that was tip number three. Tip number four. Tip number four. Now, you might know all of the data. You might know all of the information. You might know all of the the. the, 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 the I'm messing up my word. The statistics. You might know all of the statistics. The stati I can't get it. You might know all of the statistics about your business, right? But you don't want to just use those statistics just willy-nilly. You want to really create that connection, as we said in number one, and then you can use the statistics after this. Gosh, you can use the numbers, the data after that in order to really create additional impact, okay? That was tip number four. Tip number five, tip number five, all right? You want to find a way to create a visual or verbal trigger for your audience. Is there something that you can use? 
to help them remember the information that you're sharing. Some people use different things like clappers. Some people use, I don't know, props like chapstick. You're, if you're saying to someone, never forget or never be caught dry again, and you use chapsticks, I, I don't know. That's not a good example. Anyway, but is there a way for you to create a visual trigger or a verbal trigger for your audience? A lot of politicians do this very well. They use verbal triggers. What am I talking about? They use campaign slogans. And a lot of times there are these three word slogans, right? I mean, I'm not going to go into all of them, but you can probably think and you can probably remember quite a few of them in your head. They're three words. They're easy. They're chantable. They're triggers that your audience remembers and they really help that story or that speech or that moment to stick. Okay, so those are five storytelling tips that you can use as a small business owner to really create connection with your customers and your audience. Hey, listen, if you want to learn more about the te the techniques and the technologies of storytelling, join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab. Growth Lab. I was going to say Growth Lab. Wow. The Storytellers Growth Lab on Facebook. And here's the other thing that I want you to do. I want to ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with friends. Oh, and when you subscribe, make sure that you hit that little bell, that little notification bell, so that you can get all of the greatest videos when they get released. Like this one. Yes. All right. You want to hear anything else? If you want, if you know some other tips that you want to suggest, go ahead and put those in the comments. I'd love to respond to them. And I'd like to see you on the next video. See you soon. Peace.